Do you think it's me? <laughs> <laughs> we always look at Lydia, don't we? I don't know, it's so mysterious. <laughs> Or question for Emilian. I, I think there is only one way to find out. <laughs> mute ourselves. Just, <laughs> <muted. laughs> Just mute the microphone. <laughs> uh, it's Just a joking. very strong, strong uh, echo note. Just, just. Uh, little bit. Just, just uh, noise. You know, not echo, just noise of surroundings. Yeah. It's like, strange. I, I change room I, and I change <laughs> headphone and I uh, close all program maybe um, that can be uh, um, do it, this noise, but I don't no, know. What it's successful because there is no echo, only just noise. noise. So it's cool. Maybe it's it's not a, because of me. Maybe a program. Maybe uh, it's because of me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't blame blame <laughs> you on that. Thank you. <laughs> You're very generous, unlike me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure you're generous too. You're yeah, very, uh, very kind. kind. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, welcome everyone. We have a full class, and I am very happy, especially because um, we are actually starting something new today. Uh, actually, I have done this before. I have done this particular series previously. Um, I think Rinat probably is the only one who has participated in, uh, in this series. But I'm glad that all of you are here. We have a full class, so you can all benefit from the beginning. Because the beginning is the most important uh, of this particular series that we are going to uh, start with today. Um, so let me welcome everyone. Jeez, hello, Alex. Alexander, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'm just from laptop, and okay, I, I'm trying to use my other. Headphones. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of preparational for me. <laughs> That's fine, no problems. Well, it's good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, good to see you too. Oh, guys. <sighs> and Lydia, nice to see you too. Welcome. Um, yeah, Natasha, hello, how are you? Hello, I am fine, thank you. How are you? <laughs> very well, very well. Yeah. Good to see you. Likewise, yeah. It's been a few days. I hope you had a great weekend. I know yes, we didn't get a chance yes. to see you yesterday, so. It was nice. Okay. Uh, Sergey, good to see you back. Uh, we had a lesson with you earlier. This yeah, hi. Okay, and Art Artur, uh, sorry, um, Artyom. Yeah. Hello, Alan. Hello, Hi. everyone. Yeah, we have another Arthur who is who also joins in the morning. So I don't know why I mixed up his name with yours. Yeah, good to see you. Welcome. Me too. Welcome. Um, and Pavel. Hello, Pavel. Hello. Hi. <clears throat> How are you? Very well. How are you? I'm fine as usual. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Good to see you. Good to have you with us. And Dimitri. It's Dimitri, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. My name is Dimitri. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, Ellen. This is the first time I believe we meet, right? Uh, I think so. It's uh, the first uh, class with you. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Uh, I, I have taught um, other students with your name. Uh, so I just had to make sure, uh, okay, because you don't have a picture or background avatar for me to um, remember. Uh, and by the surname, I don't usually look at the surnames. It's just too much for me to remember. So, um, Dimitri, tell us something about yourself. Where are you from? Um, um, what are your hobbies? And, you know, are you a student now or are you working? Uh, I'm working. Uh, uh, I, I like uh, reading uh, fantasy books. Also, I like uh, see fantasy movies. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I don't like uh, uh, detective movies, but I think uh, this lesson uh, to improve my uh, speaking skill in English. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you don't watch uh, CSI Miami or something like that? You know, uh, no, I, I, I haven't seen uh, these movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, very nice to meet you. Welcome. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, so, have you met any of the other students? Dimitri? Have you met any of the other students maybe in another class? Oh, I've met uh, some of uh, these uh, these students uh, in another class, a uh, pronunciation class. Okay, good. So, who who have you met? Uh, I met uh, Natalia, Pavel, uh, Sergey. You mean Natasha or Natalia? Who's another Natalia? It's uh, actually it's uh, the same name, uh, Natasha, Natalia. Really? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Natasha is like a nickname, yeah? No, no, no. Natasha is uh, like home name. Mm. Okay. So your. Uh, uh, my, my full name Natalia. Oh, so this is like your passport name. Yes. This yes. Is your given name. I see. Yes. I see. Okay. I see. So you've met Natalia, uh, Pavel, and Sergey. And Sergey. Uh, uh, I've met uh, them in pronunciation class. Okay. And have they introduced themselves to you? Do you know anything about them? Uh, I know only uh, a, li a little about the, uh, about them. Okay. Well, maybe they can say a little bit more about themselves now. So what we'll do, since you have introduced yourself, um, so you can get to know everyone else, I usually get um, everyone to do like a quick uh, introduction. So let's start with Alex. Please uh, briefly give us an intro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is Alex. I live in Moscow. I'm 20 years old. I'm a database engineer. Uh, in some government organizations. So what else? I like sports. I like table tennis. Uh, riding a bicycle, mountain bicycle with my friends in summer or in winter as well. Uh, what else? I play now on bass guitar with my rock band uh, for almost four years maybe today, and that's it. I think. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much, Alex. Okay, Thank Lydia. You. Yes, my my name is Lydia. I'm from Moscow. I graduated like a teacher. I graduated as a teacher, but I work as a personal assistant. And my hobby is um, uh, reading, watching video on YouTube about handmade, and uh, I. Uh, collect perfume. Mm. That's all. Lovely. Thank you very much, uh, Lydia. You must be uh, tired of all these introductions by now. <laughs> Almost every day we have them. <laughs> no, I, I'm just uh, tired today in the evening. Yeah, it gets a bit uh, too much. Okay, thank you, uh, Natasha. My name is Natasha. I am from uh, Minsk, Belarus. Uh, I work um, uh, as a senior researcher in the Republican uh, Scientific Practical Center of Hadi and, and uh, also like as a professor um, in um, a state uh, Belarusian State Medical University. I very uh, I like um, also 
uh, reading, uh, what in a movie, especially sci-fi, uh, fantasy too, and uh, I also uh, uh, like uh, learning English and uh, um, uh, I hope improve my English skills with you. Lovely. Okay, thank you very much. Stas? Uh, my name is Tess, I'm 25, I'm from Moscow, I work as a supervisor in a big electronic company. I like reading, cinema, theater, basketball and Muay Thai. That's all. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, Sergey. Hi, my name is Sergey. I'm from St. Petersburg, I'm PhD student. Uh, I am a bioinformatician, developing software tools to study biology stuff. And I like swimming, biking, I like bikes, uh, to ride a bike. I like reading in the winter and so on. Very good, lovely. Thank you very much, Sergey. Okay, uh, Artyom. Uh, my name is Artyom. I am from Russia, Nizhny Novgorod city. I am 31 years old. I, I hobby hobby it's football. I like everything with connected with football. Uh, today will be a great match. Uh, looking for this, and I like sun and green color. That's all. Oh, and your favorite color is green. Yes. Today is green. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Thank you. May I say hello to Nizhny Novgorod? I am. I was born here. The... Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're from the same hometown? Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Zimliki. So you're like countrymen. And my mother also from uh, Nizhny Novgorod. Oh, really? Oh, uh, uh, everyone from Nizhny Novgorod today. <laughs> Guess what? I'm from there too. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Great, great. great. <laughs> Uh, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, what are the odds? You know, three of the students uh, have a, uh, something in common about the hometown. All right, cool. Um, so who else? Dimit uh, no, Dimitri, we've done you already. Uh, Pavel. Hello, my name is Pavel. <clears throat> I worked as a chief in a good restaurant. I like cycling, going to the gym. Recently, I've started to practice yoga, and I like adventures. So I'm going to commit a parachute jumping and visit Nepal in order to conquest Everest. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so no, not exactly Everest because it's only for professionals. Mm. I'm not a professional, <laughs> so. I'm going to conquest uh, Annapurna, 5,000 meters. Oof. Yeah. And I like reading, watching film, films in English, especially de detective stories, actually. Very good. Well, this should be interesting for you. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. I oh. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you joined then as well. Uh, it's good that. Yeah, students have a common interest with uh, material. Uh, okay, that's great. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, so my name is Alan. Uh, as you can see, I am Australian, and I have lived in Australia most of my life. Um, I was raised in Australia and educated there. And um, however, now I'm living in the UK. I've been here for three years, and I. Um, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about what um, was it Stas or some of you have said. The way we introduce ourselves, it sounds like we have some issues. <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about that. You know, I'm a drug addict, I'm an alcoholic, and I'm yeah, yeah. get some help. <laughs> 
Oh, yes, yeah, it just it keeps crossing my mind, so I just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> you know what I mean, Dimitri. I don't know if you've watched any of the... I've never been to any of these things. Uh, thankfully, I never had a problem of such. But um, in movies, it's, it's common, and you have these um, uh, sessions and gatherings of people who have problems, you know, and they say, my name is so-and-so, and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> and then moving on to the next guy. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyways, I have traveled around the world a fair bit. I've. Um, I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> um, I've I lived in Germany for almost five years. Uh, I went to school there as well. Uh, then I spent uh, two years in Egypt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So as you can tell, I like traveling, and um, I also enjoy sports. I like football, like most of you, or at least some of you. Uh, there's a very good match on today, actually. Liverpool and Chelsea uh, are playing, so that should be interesting. I believe it's today, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, many other sports. I like Formula One. I can't wait for the next season to begin. And yeah, history. I also like to read up on history, uh, you know, different civilizations, uh, study of uh, people and their languages and cultures, religions, and so on. Okay, I think we've covered everyone. Uh, Artyom, uh, you meant Lazio and Inter Milan. Are they playing tonight? Yes, the same time as. Chelsea. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's also a cup match. It's about the Coppa Italia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and in England, it's the Capital One Cup, so it's a cup uh, yeah. match. Yeah, that should be interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so let us begin, guys. And um, so what we'll do? Uh, let me have a look. I'm gonna screen share something for you to see. Um, which one should I screen share? Mm. Yeah, I'll screen share this. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the int introduction of our um, detective series. So it's about the case of the missing ring. Okay, the case of the missing ring. So what I'll do is now I will play this audio for you to listen to. And uh, then we will begin. Okay, so I see all of you pretty much have your micro microphones muted. That's good. So keep it that way for the next couple of minutes or so, so that there are no background noises. All right. Cynthia Hummingbird is a wealthy widow. She lives in a mansion with three wings. She has one wing to herself. Another wing is for her son's family of four. Her son Ralph is married to Lila. They have full-grown twins, Emma and Oliver. The twins still live at home. Emma is engaged to a man named Paul. The third wing in the mansion is for hired help. This includes a gardener, a chef, and a housekeeper. Besides these wings, there are several common areas in Cynthia's house, including a computer room, a kitchen, and a living room with a giant flat-screen TV. Hummingbird Manor was recently robbed. A ruby ring was snatched from the widow's bedroom. The ring is a family treasure that was supposed to be passed on to Emma on her wedding day. It was a gift to Cynthia from her late husband. The robber had bad timing. Emma and Paul are supposed to be getting hitched next week in the Rose Garden. The newlyweds are scheduled to move into the guest house after the wedding. Cynthia hired the best of the best to conduct the investigation. 
Detective Bossley starred in a recent reality show. It was a murder mystery series. Filming for the show took him all over the world. The hummingbirds watched every minute of it. Now that the series is over, the famous detective is out of a job. Since there were no signs of a break-in, the detective thinks that a resident of the mansion stole the ring. He will question each suspect in a private interview. Cynthia has insisted on taping each interview with a hidden camera. She has made Detective Bossley an offer he can't refuse. <clears throat> okay. Um, I know there, um, there were a lot of names mentioned in this audio. I don't expect you to remember all of them right now. Um, but it's all about the missing ring. <laughs> the gardener is a murderer. Hmm. Well, we shall have to wait. <laughs> we shall have to wait and see. <laughs> if there were some murders. Uh, yes. Well, uh, I don't know if there was a murder. I uh, thought <laughs> find out there's just a missing ring. Somebody stole the ring. And uh, we'll have to wait and find out who did it. Uh, so, Cynthia. She is the lady. Um, whose ring actually it is. Um, so, would you like me to replay this audio? Or do you think that was sufficient? Yes. Yes, as in replay it? Yes, yeah. once again. Okay, no problems. Great. Okay, no problems. Alright, here we go. And if you like, you can take notes. Cynthia Hummingbird is a wealthy widow. She lives in a mansion with three wings. She has one wing to herself. Another wing is for her son's family of four. Her son Ralph is married to Lila. They have full-grown twins, Emma and Oliver. The twins still live at home. Emma is engaged to a man named Paul. The third wing in the mansion is for hired help. This includes a gardener, a chef, and a housekeeper. Besides these wings, there are several common areas in Cynthia's house, including a computer room, a kitchen, and a living room with a giant flat-screen TV. Hummingbird Manor was recently robbed. A ruby ring was snatched from the widow's bedroom. The ring is a family treasure that was supposed to be passed on to Emma on her wedding day. It was a gift to Cynthia from her late husband. The robber had bad timing. Emma and Paul are supposed to be getting hitched next week in the Rose Garden. The newlyweds are scheduled to move into the guest house after the wedding. Cynthia hired the best of the best to conduct the investigation. Detective Bossley starred in a recent reality show. It was a murder mystery series. Filming for the show took him all over the world. The hummingbirds watched every minute of it. Now that the series is over, the famous detective is out of a job. Since there were no signs of a break-in, the detective thinks that a resident of the mansion stole the ring. He will question each suspect in a private interview. Cynthia has insisted on taping each interview with a hidden camera. She has made Detective Bossley an offer he can't refuse. <clears throat> okay, now... So let us now go through the PDF. So I hope you were taking notes because it um, it's quite difficult remembering all of these names. So basically what each episode um, encompasses or what it uh, you know what you, we will go through um, at the beginning we have a recap 
Okay, so a brief summary of the previous episode. Then we have a fact file, you know, notes about the detective's investigation that are partially filled in. Then we have a pre-reading vocabulary, so words or expressions to learn. Um, then a fill-in-the-blank dialogue, uh, vocabulary review activities, comprehension questions, and a prediction assignment. Okay, and then the answer key at the end. So um, I will always give you the PDF that we go through during uh, each lesson. So towards the end of the lesson, I give you the link for it uh, in the chat, and you can you know, download it and save it to your uh, computer. Um, okay. So let's have a look at this. What does it say? That's a bit too big. So this first reading uh, acts as an introduction to the series. So it's in paragraph format. And readers will, will learn about the characters, the setting, and the robbery itself. Learners will also be introduced to the eight-part format of future lessons. Uh, the reading for the remaining lessons is in dialogue format. Episode one begins after this introduction. So actually, like I said, this is just an introduction. And hopefully the next time we have this detective series lesson, we will do the actual episodes. Um, yes. Uh, so let's see. OK, before we go through the vocabulary, I'm sure there were some words which you didn't understand. What's a preview? Preview, basically, you know, before you read the pre-reading vocabulary in each episode, you will find this short section called preview. And this section will remind you of what the important details from the previous episode and summarize what will happen next. All right, so let's have a look. Here are the first words. All right, so we have a bunch of words here. And let's go through them. So let's begin with Pavel. Could you do the first one for us, please? Of course. Widow. A woman whose husband has died. Should I do example? Yes, if you can. Is this a new a new word for you, or did you know this already? Yes, I've I've, I've known this already. Good. <coughs> okay, so give us an example of. Wow. <coughs> okay, one of the spider species is called black widow. Ah, very good. Yeah, but do you know why they call this spider the black widow? Yes, because. The female of the spider uh -huh. actually, I don't know, eat, eat, uh, yeah. they, are, <laughs> they are male. <laughs> That's right, yes. So she becomes a widow because she devours or she eats. Yes, <laughs> and the black widow also we can use for human. It's a woman who actually killed his wife, her wife. Or husband, of course. Husband, yeah, yeah. Very good. Excellent. So also Black Widow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was a good example. So let's move on to the next one. Um, Dimitri. So just read the, the line for us, please. Uh, wings, a uh, section in a very large house or building. Did you know the meaning of this before? Uh, I know the meaning of this or what. Also, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, the part of the plane. Wings. Yes, very good, very good. Well, similar in this case, I mean, a plane needs the wings to kind of um, you know, stay in the air. Obviously, it it has engines or a propeller, uh, but it needs wings to balance itself. Or a, a bird needs wings to fly. Yeah. Actually, plane uh, 
uh, has only one wing. Uh, the half of wing is a semi wing. Oh yes, yeah. so it's it's a one one complete wing. Yeah, is that what you're saying? So one left side is half, and the right side is the other half. Yeah. Uh, left wing and right wing. You're right, but yeah. uh, the plane has one wing. Wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a complete, complete wing. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So same, similar thing in a house uh, or very large house or building. Yeah. So, how would you use this in a sentence? Can you give us an example? Uh, the video's uh, mention uh, had three wings. Very good. Yeah. So the widow's mansion, it had three wings, three, you know, sections or parts to the house. Yeah. Okay, very good. Hired help, Artyom. Hired help. It's people who get paid to assist a person or group. Mm -hmm. I think... It's the same uh, employees, yes? No? Um, well, employees kind of are already a part of the, you know, they work for, for a company, or, you know. They are more permanent. Hired help, you know, just comes temporarily and helps you with something, and they leave after that. It's a temporary job, temporary work. Yes, yes, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would you use hired help? Uh, at the construction works a lot of hired help. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, why not? That's nothing wrong with that sentence. Yeah, at a construction site you, you have hired help that come and um, you know, do their job temporarily. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but in our case here, yeah, it's meant more as in, uh, you know, work around the house. Um, for example, maintenance around the garden. For example, the gardener, he can be hired help. A chef. Yeah. yeah. I, a chef who, who you know comes every now and then just to prepare the food, um, you know, a housekeeper, maid, and so on. All right. Good. All right. What about the next one, Sergey? Common areas, places in building or res residence where everyone is welcome. Yes, I knew this, this word before. Mm -hmm. And uh, video mention has a computer a computer room, which is a common area. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Yeah. So another example could be um, if you're a student. At university, and you are now in a flat or an apartment where a lot of students are in there. You know, they have maybe four different rooms for different students. You all have your own room. However, you do have a common area, usually like the sitting room and the kitchen. Yeah, this is a common area where all of you uh, share it. You're all welcome there. Okay, what about the next one? Stas. Uh, snatched, taken or stolen quickly, often secretly. Uh, I heard this. Uh, we word. did this word before, if you remember. Yeah. Yes, uh, you did. My gosh. Snatched is a brilliant film of Guy Ritchie. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Could you repeat Snatch it? Snatched is a brilliant film of Guy Ritchie. Pavel just stole my sentence. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yes, Pavel has written it. Excellent. It's a movie. Yeah. Made, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good. But if you remember, I think Lydia, you wanted to say something about this word snatched. 
yes, uh, Yuki snatched a room when uh, Kate uh, arrived in uh, in college in in the in the in the in the in the dorm or the dormitory. Yuki, uh, this is from another series that we're doing called Everyday Idioms. Uh, Everyday Idioms and Yuki is a roommate of another girl and she snatched her bed or she snatched the bed in a room that was the mm -hmm. closest to the window. Mm -hmm. Yes. There were two beds in that room and Yuki came in first and she just mm. took that one bed that was close to the window. First, nice first come, first uh, served. <laughs> Very good. First come, first served. Do you remember that idiom? Very good. Yes. Okay, very good. Next one, Natasha. Uh, passed on. Uh, given to the next person in line. For example, from mother uh, to daughter. Mm -hmm. It's uh, like uh, phrases uh, verb. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, uh, people uh, which uh, uh, walk uh, on a conveyor uh, line uh, pass uh, on uh, something details uh, one to another. Yes. Mm, they they pass on details. Uh, well, yeah, the details. It's maybe details or another thing. Mm hmm. Mm, I see. Um. Okay. In this case, actually, passed on means like what Pavel said, like inheritance. It's got to do with, um, <laughs> like for example, with this ring. Yeah, with this ring that yes. was stolen, it's supposed to be passed on. Oh my to God. another person, yeah. yeah. So Cynthia, the widow, she's supposed to pass on her ring to um, the other girl. I think it's Emily that's getting married. So she's passing it on to her, as in because that's the granddaughter, and so on. So maybe you have a your grandpa had a nice watch which he's had for a generation, and he's passing it on to you. Um, yeah, so there's something, uh, these things that we pass on from one generation to another. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, another, see, this might relate to the next one. Um, when someone dies, what do we say? What's the phrasal verb that we use when somebody dies? Similar to this one here. That's the way. That's the way. Very good. Yeah. So it's um, more polite to say, uh, what happened to, I don't know, so and so, or he passed away. Okay. It's more polite to say, oh, he, then he died, or he's dead. So we say, he passed away. Okay. What about this word, Lydia? I never heard in this meaning um, this meaning this word late, no longer life. Ah, okay. Has anyone heard of this expression or how to use this? No, not in such a no. way. None of you. All right, good. I'm glad because you're going to learn something now. Um, I mean, we always learn something in the lessons, but this is a, a new word for you, and it's very common, very useful. Um, for example, let's say um, you're talking, or you want to talk about a family member that has already passed away, maybe, I don't know, five years ago. So now you want to mention this person to someone. So you want to talk about, let's say, um, um, your grandfather. Yeah? So you're saying, oh, my late grandfather used to have a beautiful watch. <clears throat> mm, I see. Okay. So it's like an adjective. Yes. It's, that means that he's no, longer, he's no longer alive. Mm -hmm. yeah? So my late grandfather gave me this watch. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, my grandfather, who is now uh, not no longer alive, who is, who is passed away, he gave me this watch. So we use this like an adjective just before that person's name or my late mum, my late dad, my late sister, anyone. Okay? Okay. That's how it's used. All right, next one, Alex. Uh, bad timing. Happening at an in inconvenient time. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was very bad timing for, I don't know, to earn or to store big amount of money in bank. Yes. Yeah, especially now with the economic crisis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ah, yeah, bad timing. <laughs> Sergey is saying exams are always, uh, yeah. always have yeah. a bad timing. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Yeah, so this is pretty self self explanatory. Yeah. Okay, next one, Pavel. Getting hitched. Getting married. <clears throat> I've never heard this before. So, <clears throat> Emma is supposed to be getting hitched to Paul. Yeah, very good. Yeah, perfect. She's supposed to be getting hitched to Paul. Yeah, very good. I believe it was Paul, yeah. Uh, there is a movie called Mr. Hitch. I don't know if you've seen it. Yes, it's, it's very hilarious, a hilarious film. Yeah, it's a funny one with uh, funny. Will Smith. Yes. So, uh, Mr. Hitch, because Mr. he Hitch. gets people hitched. Mm -hmm. He brings them together and gets them married. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. Good sentence, well done, let's keep going. Um, uh, the best of the best. Uh, the top the top one. I think it's uh, rather uh, self-explanatory mm -hmm. uh, expression. Yes. Okay, can you give me a sentence with it? What do you think is the best of the best? Mm -hmm. uh, I know one person who is the best uh, of the best in his profession. Very good. Perfect sentence. Yeah? That's exactly how we can use it. Okay. Next one. Artyom? A reality show. A TV show on a certain them that starts real people, not actors. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we in Russia, there's a very longest reality show in television history, which called House 2. Oh, maybe, really? Yes, maybe I'm mistaken, but I heard about it recently. A very long time. Hmm. What's it about? It's a silly TV show about... You don't want to know, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yes. A relationship between women and men, of course. But I don't know who now watching this. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> okay, don't give us any more details then. <laughs> yeah, there is a similar, sh or maybe, the, not, maybe not similar, but there is a show like this in the UK called Big Brother. Um, you know, you have people in this big house, they're all kind of... You know, they decide to stay in there and the cameras are watching them constantly, 24-7. And they get, up, they get up to all sorts of things. And uh, they become famous like that, you know. And they even have Celebrity Big Brother, uh, which is even more ridiculous. So celebrities who are desperate for money, they seem to go in there and um, get up to all sorts of nonsense. Yeah, so these are types of reality shows. Okay. Um, Sergey? Out of something. 
to know won't you have something you use to help out such as work, meal, time and I knew this word. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Give us a sentence about it. How would you use it? It it is no happy time when you are out of money. Ah yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. When we are out of money, uh, it's not a happy time and you can't wait for the payday. Yeah. Um Okay, I ran out of battery. Good. Yeah, we can say that. Yeah. Um, I ran out of, but that would be like a different, uh, different phrasal verb because run is kind of used before that. Yeah, but when you're out of something, it means you don't have any more of that particular thing. So you might say, Mom, we are out of sugar. Yeah, so you're asking your mom to get sugar or whatever. Okay, and the last one. Stas. Uh, break in a forced entry and try. Entry into a locked forced array. Entry? entry? Entry. Into a locked array, you do not have permission or a key. I broke in my apartment, then I forgot my keys. Good, okay, but you've used the um, phrasal verb. Here, it's a noun. Mm. Ah. See, when you see this hyphen... Break in is a necessary thing, then you forgot your keys. Okay, good, <laughs> you've changed it. <laughs> well done. Yeah, so you might say... Uh, you might get a phone call from a family member and, and they might say on the phone, look, there has been a break-in. You know, you might quickly come. We need your help. Okay? Okay. All right. I, I, I heard about a service that can break in in your house if you, if you want. Service? Uh, police, yeah. Service, yeah. You forgot your keys, uh, you call. Oh, and, yeah, a service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Service, yeah. Maybe and it's, uh, they can do it in less than five minutes. A break in service, it's called, yeah. yeah a break in service. service. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people do, uh, you know, forget their keys inside or they lose them. So, how will they break in? Or how will they get in the house? So, they need a break in specialist. <laughs> Yeah, it happened to me actually with my car. I thankfully it was uh, an old car, or not so expensive, and I was able to break in myself. Yeah. Okay. So now here is the actual um, script, or you know, let's say the the text of the audio that you just heard. Uh, however, there are a few words missing. Let's see if you can find the right words. Or if you can think of them. Okay, so let's see. The first one. <laughs> Natasha, maybe you can tell us the first one. Uh, Cynthia, who mean uh, bird is a wealthy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wealthy. Wealthy. I, I don't know what is wealthy. Wealthy? What's wealthy, guys? Yes, we Rich. wealthy. Rich. Rich. Rich? Mm -hmm. Rich? Okay. Wealthy, uh, maybe... Um, uh, I don't know what would I have to put here. Actually, this this word was is a part of our list at the very beginning yes, of our list. Yes, I see, but but I but I don't know what is the uh, can be. Okay, what I'll do. Maybe better uh, is a wealthy bad diamond, but no. From W, from W. Yes. Uh, Okay, so what I'll do is you can take a photo of this. Widow? Yes, widow. Yes, widow, okay. So I've taken mm -hmm. a quick photo of this. Mm 
and you guys can actually save it and have this as a reference to help you. Okay. Okay. So widow is the first one. Very good. Cynthia Hummingbird is a wealthy widow. All right. Next one, Lydia. She lives in mansion with three daughters. Good guess, <laughs> but it's incorrect. <laughs> Ah. Yes. Three. Ah, wings. Wings. Yes. What's a wing again? Can you tell me what's a wing? This is part of building. Uh, Very good. Yeah, a section or a part of a building or a large house. Okay, good. Keep reading. Mommy. Yeah. Um, she has one wing to herself. Another wing is for her son's family of four. Her son, Ra Ralph, is married to Lila. They have full grown twins, Emma and Oliver. The twins still live at home. Emma is engaged to a man named Paul. Very good. Thank you very much. Alexander? Uh, the third wing in the mansion is for heart help. Uh, Very good. For continue. <laughs> continue for a bit. Go on. Uh, things, this includes a gardener, a chef, uh, and a housekeeper. Yeah, good. You see yeah. this word? Even though it's spelled yeah, yeah. CH, we pronounce it like mm -hmm. SH. So, chef. Mm -hmm. Chef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. All right. Okay, let's give somebody else a try. So hired help is the correct one. Pavel, next one. Besides these wings, there are several common areas in Cynthia's house, including a computer room, a kitchen, and a living room with a giant flat screen TV. Very good. There are common, um, sorry, Great. several common areas. Areas. Yeah. All right, very good. Uh, the next one, Dimitri. Uh, Hummingbird Manor was recently wrapped. A uh, ruby ring was snatched uh, from the widow's bedroom. Very uh, good. It was snatched. Yeah, it was snatched. It was taken, you know, quickly and secretly. Very good. Okay, next one. Continue. Uh, um, the ring is a okay, go ahead. Yes. Uh, the ring is a family treasure. What was supposed to be uh, passed on to Emma on her wedding day. Yes, passed on. It was supposed to be passed on. All right. Very good. Uh, Artyom, could you do the next one? Okay. It was a gift to Cynthia for her late husband. Yes, you see how we use late? Yeah. It was a gift to Cynthia for her late husband. Died husband. Yeah, a husband who died. Okay, next um, sentence, Sergey. The ruby had bad break in, or I can't remember. Bed. The robot had bed. Bed. Mm. Remember about the exams? Mm, yeah, yeah, but timing, right? Yes. The robot yeah. had bad timing. Yeah, right. Excellent. All right. Why? Because stars. Uh, because Emma and Paul are supposed to be getting hitched next week in the Rose Garden. The new newlyweds are scheduled to move into the guest house after the wedding. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, Emma and Paul are supposed to be getting hitched next week. All right. And then, Natasha? Uh, 
uh, simply uh, hide the best of uh, the best uh, to conduct the investigation. Excellent. Yeah, she hired the best of the best to conduct the investigation. Lydia? What is it? Um, det uh, ah, Detective Bosley starred in a recent uh, reality show. It was a murder mystery series. Filming for the show took him all over the world. The humming, hummingbirds uh, watched every minute of it. Now that the series is over, the famous detective is... Um, Very good. Out Excellent. Out of a job. Sorry? And, yeah. And out, of, out of a job, yes? Out of a job. Yes, out of a job, there's no job. Yeah. And the previous uh, what, one was reality show, yeah? Yes, uh, what is the uh, meaning of uh, new new wits? I uh, should, should do it. Uh, mm. Previous previous paragraph. Oh, yes, uh, the newlyweds. Yes. Um, a, a couple that just got married. Newly? No. Wed. Right. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wed mm -hmm. is like a verb. You you want to wed. Wedding. Yeah, mm -hmm. no. I like wedding. Yeah, it comes from wedding. So newly wed. Newly weds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Since since there were no signs of uh, breaking. The detective thinks uh, that a resident of the, of the mansion stole the ring. He will question each suspect in a private interview. Cynthia has insisted on taping each interview with a hidden uh, camera. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has made Detective Bosley an offer he can't refuse. Very good. Since there were no signs of a break in, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and here hidden camera is correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Even though a hidden camera was not part of our <laughs> list, yeah. but you got it right. Okay, well done, guys. Um, there you have it. And I've, we've run out of time, so there is a bit of a um, vocabulary review here uh, when it comes to um, our newly newly learned words. I'd like you to do that at home if you can, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll give you the link for this. Just bear with me a second. <laughs> and if I can locate it, there it is. Are there any questions about this? No. no it's pretty good. Uh, introduction. Okay, here it is. Okay, here it is in the chat, guys. Um, hope it works. Okay, mm -hmm. so thank you very much for joining. Uh, I see some students have already left. I had to join another class. No uh, mm -hmm. problem. So, see you guys next time. Okay. 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 All right. Take See care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.